Hello everyone, this is Toby with Birdsong Studios. Thank you so much for being here today. I appreciate your time, your attention, your openness to the messages so much. Thank you for joining me here. So today I began preparing for this reading with the intention that I would be bringing through messages from Spirit for what we needed to know um, in relation to this week ahead. Um, that would be April the 10th through the 17th. However, as I began preparing and tapping in and connecting in to receive guidance on the cards to be used, the crystals to have associated with those cards, um, it became very apparent that we will be talking about Mercury retrograde. Um, so Mercury began to, or entered its shadow period for the retro, retrograde, <laughs> as you can see in my, my speech, on April the 7th, and it will officially go retrograde on April the 23rd, I believe it is, and until May the 14th, I believe are the dates. So, I'm sorry, April 21st is when uh, it goes retrograde, and it will be in the sign of Taurus. So we have the opportunity with Mercury retrograde to focus on how these moments of redirection and slowdowns and miscommunications um, have impacted us and have led us in directions that we were not anticipating or may have caused conflict or may have caused some difficulty, or we can go into the the retrograde season with the awareness that these things are likely and Mercury is guiding us to slow down, to reflect upon our words, our actions, our, I'm hearing directions, so what are we being, where are we directing our energy? Not only um, on like a five or seven seventh dimensional plane, but um, in the physical plane too, in the third dimensional plane, where, where are we, what are our travel plans, and being very intentional about all movements that we're making, whether it's through communication or through the physical or energetic. Um, and as well as I was preparing for the reading, um, as you can see, we have the Light Seer's Tarot out here, so I was drawn to that deck. And as I was doing a little bit of a pre-shuffle, the Seven of Cups came out, um, or I kept seeing it. And the Seven of Cups is about, um, it is about indecision. It's about um, a multitude of options, but it it's also associated with there being a sense of illusion around those options. And sometimes those options are things that we create in our mind um, as we are kind of embedded in this Neptunian energy of illusion and fantasy is the word I'm getting. So that's a little bit of a, a preview, I think, of the, of the reading. Um, I was also very much drawn to uh, red tones, to this red sweatshirt I'm wearing, the fire quartz that has red in it. I'll hold this up so you guys can see it. It's a really beautiful stone. Um, I was particularly drawn to a red candle that I have. Um, and as well to note that Mercury is in Taurus during this retrograde and I have a very, um, I have a sense of the, the polarity that's available to us and being very much aware of this that um, with the red kind of a, a stereotypical version of the bowl that is symbolic of Taurian energy and either seeing red or taking a Ferdinand type stance if you're familiar with that story and 
enjoying the flowers, enjoying the smells, enjoying the breeze, and taking um, a vantage point that's high up upon the hill, just as Ferdinand does in the story. If you're not familiar with the story of Ferdinand the Bull, I highly recommend you read it. It's a fantastic story. Um, anyway, so we have those two options available to us during this time. There's more than just two options, as it was <laughs> hinted at in the Seven of Cups. But those are going to be two energies that I think will be uh, very much faced with as things are brought to us on our path as we journey through this time of Mercury retrograde. And so we may feel uh, this pull to react out of stubbornness or aggression um, in response to any delays or miscommunications or difficulty with technology that occurred during this time frame. But we are being encouraged to view, view all of these things from the higher perspective and enjoy the moment is really what I'm getting. Um, being willing to sit in the stillness and enjoy the beauty of the moment. These delays and pauses are affording us the opportunity to really do that, to really take the time and see it as a gift rather than a challenge or a conflict. Um, at the same time, I was also getting um, the song from Gautier, Somebody I Used to Know. So, um, as is common for Mercury Retrograde, it does often bring in people or situations from our past and I'm definitely getting a sense that that may be the case and again you are being invited and encouraged to pay attention to your energetic reaction to their reappearance and how that has changed over the past six months or so. Are you noticing that your reaction is different or are you being triggered into a state of seeing red um, in that Taurian energy, feeling uh, aggressive or challenged by their reappearance or are you able to view it from that higher perspective and understand the reason for why they are there because maybe they're there just for you to see the change in yourself and your response to them or to witness the ability that you now have. Well, you always had it, but witness the that you have learned the skills to respond in a different way, to recognize how you are triggered, if you are triggered, when you are triggered, and yet not respond from that triggered state, but to respond from the wisdom that you have, that you are able to embody at this point. Okay, that was kind of a long prologue, but that was, it was a lot of information that came through right before we got started, so... Let's see what we have. What do we need to know about Mercury Retrograde? We Again, we are in the shadow of Retrograde. Um, it actually goes Retrograde in Taurus on the 21st and lasts until May 14th. Queen of Swords, Higher Perspective, Eight of Cups, Walking Away, Six of Pentacles, that balanced state. This is really all that I was talking about <laughs> earlier. <laughs> Um, looking at things from that higher perspective, things that you have walked away from in the past because they were out of balance, they were, may not have been reciprocal or because that you know that you were not balanced in those places, in those relationships, in those situations and in the in the seeking of a more balanced existence, 
that is indicated in this Six of Pentacles, you've moved away from those things. So when they're reappearing, what, what have you learned? What can you see now about that situation that you did not see before? And again, that recognition of your growth in those spaces, as well as this Queen of Swords has this sword by her side. It's in her hand. She is willing to use it, but understanding the necess that it is not, ne not necessarily necessary. <laughs> so withholding any... I'm hearing sharp judgment unless it's warranted. Yes, because you're now coming, you're balancing the air and water energy in this Queen of Cups here to, we're going to clarify the Queen of Swords with one more, but you're balancing your emotions. You're, you're able to You're able to recognize what the emotions that you feel are telling you and not necessarily coming from a reactive point. The Queen of Cups is very compassionate, very much empathetic. She is connected to her intuition and she can read the signs from what she feels in her heart space as well as her physical body, but from her heart space. And she comes from a place of compassion and empathy. And so recognizing that everyone has their own journey and whoever may be coming back through as indicated in that song, whatever situation may be coming back through, you're able to view it now from a heart-centered space and, and from your perspective as well as the other person's. And this is the Ten of Cups. So seeing let me get one more on the Ten of Cups. Let me get one more on the Ten of Cups, please. Because I'm getting this Ten of Cups can be indicative of, because you can now see the person or the situation from this higher perspective, you can now see how you see them as a, a bit of a different person. And because you have this recognition about yourself, too, you're a different person. And so the relationship between the two of you is going to be different. And it is one that can bring you to this Ten of Cups. I'm also seeing it as, and yeah, <laughs> and I'm also seeing it as you understand what your emotional fulfillment is. You understand and you now have become very clear on, I never noticed that base cleft there before. Interesting. You've now become clear on what it is that brings you fulfillment. And you can recognize that this person was or was not. And this is where the Two of Pentacles come, comes in because I was feeling both to begin with and I was hoping to get clarity on whether or not it was the first or the second option that I've laid out here for you guys. But it's both because it's going to depend upon each person's situation. This is a collective reading, so it will be di different for each of you, but because the King of Swords is here, he's telling me that you know which is the truth for you. You, you are able to go to this higher perspective um, just as the Queen of Swords, but you're able to come from a more detached place. The King of Swords... Um, is willing to make the very tough decisions and is even more detached from the emotions of the past than the Queen of Swords is and is so is able to make a balanced decision for himself in regards to this. So, meaning you will know 
which of these scenarios it is for you if in fact you experience this person coming back because you'll you will have integrated these parts of yourself you will know that yes they fit into not they fit into but they contribute to this spectrum of life and color and joy and love that is what you have envisioned for your future and for your fulfillment and emotional satisfaction or you will see that they do not and you'll know the path to take then in order to achieve that that's either with them or not with them it's really beautiful energy. I know that sounds rather harsh and tough, but there's so much wisdom in that and so much to be gained from that. It's, um, and although the other person, because I felt it was a secondary person that was bringing forth the lyrics of that song, somebody I used to know, because the person is saying, you didn't have to, um, you didn't have to cut me off. Basically, you didn't have to let me go in that way so whoever this person is that's coming in for you may not be so accepting of whatever of the decision you make if you choose to move forward without them but again this is where this king steps in and you must de detach from another person's expectations and do what is best for you because that's where this ten of cups then comes in it's always through that path of being true to oneself, being true to what you know to fulfill you, being true to what your truth is, what it is that you want in your life going forward, um, in particular in a relationship. Okay. Um, I kind of feel like So, I'm going to move this over here. And let's ask what else about, we'll pull three more and see if we have a secondary bit of guidance for Mercury Retrograde. feeling like because as I'm, I'm really drawn to this eight of cups and I'm feeling like this is n all right let's ask then we're going to I know we said we were going to skip forward but I feel like we've got like three different story not stories but three different messages within the one main message so let's clarify this eight of cups because I'm feeling like it's not only related to what happened in the past, but for many of you, you will choose to walk away from this in pursuit of your 10. Yeah, Knight of Swords, we still have the back turn, running towards the truth. See how this Knight is turned away from us, guided by this Raven? That's guidance from your guides, from the spirit world, from your ancestors, moving you towards this truth, moving you towards, and not far ahead of you, there is a means for you to really speed forward, but you have to be dedicated to this path. And it does, it is indicating leaving something behind. And again, it speaks to what we were what we were talking about a moment ago about being dedicated to your truth and what you know, what your priorities are, what you know uplifts your soul, what what is what are the things, the places, the areas, the people that 
uplift, oh my gosh, that uplift your, that lift your vibration, that lift your soul. Ace of Swords. We've got a lot of air energy going on here. And this is this new beginning. I feel like in this time frame, when you first make this decision to walk away from whatever comes back from the past, there's going to be a gap. See the gap between the knight and his motorcycle? It's a very short gap, but in that time frame, it may feel as if you're in a void and keep going because in that time frame this new information is going to come to you and that's what's going to leap you forward. Look at all the equations and chemical symbols that are behind her and glyphs. Can you see that up here and whoops down here over here, oh, my finger's in the way, but over, I'm always doing this backwards. Over here, see all those? And this light that shines from her, the staircase that comes down from the divine. There's going to be a download that occurs during that time frame. See how there are orbs of light, too, guiding his path? There's a reason why there's this pause. And again, this goes back to Mercury retrograde. If there is a point in time when things feel like they come to a halt, don't, don't stop as far, as far as don't allow yourself to be distracted and taken off the path. It doesn't mean that he is getting this, I am getting this sense of him charging forward. He's running forward. But there's also a sense of charging forward intentionally not just running forward to run forward, because if you do, you're going to miss this download. There's a reason why there's a space, and it's so this information can come to you. So don't fill up this space with something else. Be very intentional about how you use this time. There will be a time when things get quiet. But it will be filled if you allow it to just be. It doesn't mean to stop what you're working towards either, but be super intentional about it because this is such a time of creation. And it's been planned this way. Spirit is guiding you. It, they're here too in the Ace of Swords. That's really beautiful. Okay. So, um, let's do the Six of Pentacles. And you're very much protected. I'm getting strong protection energy here. So please don't feel like it's going to almost feel like things are coming to a halt and that all you've worked towards has been for nothing. That is not the case. You must trust during this time frame. Spirit is giving you this time in order to be have the space that, and I'm getting something about your chemistry. All of this is has been created purposefully to allow you to be able to receive this download. And that's what leaps you forward. That's the hopping on the motorcycle and charging off into your future. So please make space for it. So this, this portion of the message is going to be for those who have been led to move away from whatever comes in, in search of their 10 of cups, not in search of, but in dedication to your 10 of cups. Not, it, it is for those who have, who understand that the moving away from this person or situation or environment is necessary in order to obtain their Ten of Cups. That it does not exist in that 
space, the space uh, represented by the person or the situation that comes in from your past. Okay, so for people who make the choice to go away, move away from that, this is going to be the path forward then. This is what you, what they are signaling that you will encounter in, during Mercury retrograde. And part of this Ace of Swords, this download, is going to bring in or make you aware of the people that are important in this journey going forward towards your Ten of Cups, the people that you will work with, that you will collaborate with. This is beautiful. So again, when space is made, space is made so that the new can come in. And this is what they're showing you here. So although it can be painful and frightening in ways and cause a lot of anxiety, I was getting a lot of anxiety and that was the reason for the fire quartz. This is very grounding and very helpful for soothing anxiety. Um, and look at the reds in here too. Even in the Two of Pentacles, red and in the Queen of Cups, red is very important during this time frame. Um, so I was saying the, I'm really drawn to the red on the bottom of his shoe. The, even though it can be very frightening and anxiety inducing to leave behind something that we were attached to, even though I feel like you left it behind before, it's almost like this is the final cut. This is the final detachment from that cycle so that you can move forward into this new one. And so moving into it with the awareness that when one thing is left behind or one thing is lost or one thing is separated, detached from, it creates the space for the new to come in and it's, it's necessary because energetically we need that space in order to allow the new to come in. Okay, so let's look at the Six of Pentacles again with the red. <laughs> very grounded, very much a, a balancing of air and uh, earth energy here. So it would be very important for you to stay grounded during this time as well, getting out into nature. And I'm getting this sense of darkness as well. So meditating in the dark, whether that's at night or early in the morning, that will be a very grounding experience for you during this time frame. And I and that's going to help with receiving this download as well. Page of Swords, because you're doing something new, you're learning new skills, you're learning, you're embarking upon exploring this new idea. And this new idea is what is going to bring you to this state of the Six of Pentacles where things are balanced, where you are in a state of giving and receiving. It's reciprocal. Six of Swords moving. Wow, lots of sixes, you guys. Look at the, the balancing. Because, and this, if you are following your guidance, if you are trusting your guides, if you are trusting spirit, if you are trusting your intuition, this is the space you will be going to. And it's this moving out of stormy waters. It's moving away from anything that is not balanced. There's a lot of moving away. However, the flip side of that is that that means you're moving towards something too, right? So there's that reminder. And it's interesting how we've switched here from moving away to moving towards. See how both figures, we see their faces? So now we need a perspective shift as well. We need an intentional shift of what we're moving towards versus a focus on what we moved away from. And this is part of where this balance comes from because it's allowing 
ourselves to be guided into the new, into this state of curiosity and exploration, of learning. Oh, we have four of pentacles in reverse. How interesting. And so it's the, again, this state of giving and receiving. It's this, it's the state of moving away from feeling, uh, like we had to hide part of ourselves, moving away from this sense of restriction and lack because we know and we trust that abundance is ours. It is our birthright. It is available to us from the divine at all times. See how she's separate from this town? And she's holding on to her purse. She's fearful of losing what she's worked so hard to gain. But in reverse, that fear is gone because you're trusting. You're trusting that you're guided. You're trusting your own intuition. You're trusting the what you've learned, the wisdom and skills you've gained. And now you're embarking on this new journey with a totally different energy. The energy is... is it's bound in unconditional love and compassion and trust in oneself and your guides. And there's no lack within it whatsoever. That's really beautiful, you guys. Okay. One more for the Six of Pentacles. There's no restriction or constriction there. There's no fear that what is given will not be reciprocated because you've been moved to locations and situations and relationships that are there to be the other half of this coin for your experience. I know that that actually made sense, but, and it's new emotional experiences as well, including potentially new love that is part of this equation now. It's really beautiful. I love how they have this separated out too. All right, I'm going to turn these around so you guys can see. I think, and look at the red. This is the red that's following through there. There's this heart energy. But again, at the beginning, it's, the, it's very important that we be mindful of our reactions and responses during this time frame because there's, I want to say there's so much at stake here, but there... Um, I don't want to be dramatic about it, but there are really important choices being made. This is a really, really important point in history. And it's for those that this resonates for, this is an important point in your life. And there's no, there's no, there's no judgment either because we all have free will and we all have different lessons to learn in each lifetime. But for those that this is resonating for, I think you will understand because you've been working towards this. You have been working very hard, very diligently towards this. You've made tough decisions, very tough decisions. And you have had wisdom that's gained through wounds And so I want to see, I invite you to really utilize the skills and wisdom that you've gained through this time, through the past few years or the past decade in some cases. 
but you're coming into this balanced place. It's like these, it's like the stairs in this card. See how they're la laid out kind of in stairs. And now we have platforms building here. I feel like you're coming to this beautiful plateau where things are really beginning to come together and you can see it coming together and you're facing it head on and you're turning away from any sense of lack or feeling as if you must withhold and protect your heart, your gifts, your abundance as if it's limited in some way because it's not. It is infinite and it comes in many forms. The only thing we don't have represented here is water but the water is in the Six of Swords card. It's a very balanced state. Balancing out all the elements within you. Really beautiful. Okay, I'm going to turn these around so you can see them more clearly. You see those? Okay. these around. And then we'll turn these around. You see that? Not so well. It feels very important to have this fire quartz here. Oh, no, she's upside down. She is reversed. Oh, it's not exactly straight, sorry. Okay, so now we're going to pull one or two from the Life Soul Vision Oracle to close the reading here, just to get us a final overall energy. I feel this is really going to confirm what we've already talked about, but this deck has such beautiful imagery and uh, symbolism that it's always helpful and sometimes brings, oftentimes brings in a new layer of understanding too. Okay, so what do we need to know about this Mercury retrograde season, please, Spirit? The Sun, Charged in Light, card number 16. Get one more. This brings me back to that sense of protection as well as the light from source that's beaming down upon us. Ooh, and this portals of possibility. Look, we have two circles. Look at that. Okay, let me move these out of the way. We have the sun and portals of possibility, which is card number 33. So we have 16, which is 7, and then this is a 7 year, and then we have 33, which is 6. So many 6s here which is beautiful. It is, it is the number of balance. It is the number of um, Gemini as well, which follows Taurus season. So interestingly, let's see, when does Gemini? 14. So we enter into Gemini season a week after Mercury retrograde ends, but that will be in the post shadow. So it's a possibility that you'll see this happen in the post shadow in Gemini season. So that would be late May from like the 21st to the end of May. Um, but this, these are these portals of possibility and this is what we're going through. This is one portal of possibility. And so being mindful of each step you're taking and, and doing so with intention 
because you've worked so hard to get to this point. You've endured a lot. You've encountered a lot. You've integrated a lot more than can be visible from the outside. And you're being presented with this amazing opportunity. So give yourself the time and the space and the quiet in order to evaluate and reevaluate, to reflect, to review, to reconfigure before you're making any choices or any steps. Allow yourself to be guided. And I think that this, the sun uh, charged in light is very much bringing us back to what I mentioned about this Ace of Swords and how there feels like something chemical, something in your chemistry is associated with this. Our planet is being or has been recently hit with massive solar activity. Solar activity that is unusual and intense. And this is not by accident. This, this is um, helping bringing in light and activations to us here on the planet to help us in this ascension process. And I think that this is definitely connected and see how it's wrapped in angels wings. It's very much indicative of the physical changes and light activations you have been receiving and that are going to continue during this time frame. And these I'm feeling are integrating into your cells, they're being, they're altering, upgrading your consciousness and, and your cellular makeup, which is helping you on this process, on this pathway as well. It's all connected. This is really beautiful, guys. And then I'm drawn to here where she's walking away and towards the sun. Okay, I'm going to leave it there at 42.24. <laughs> um, two sixes again. Wow, the sixes. I hope that you have found this helpful. Thank you so much for being here with me. Again, I appreciate your time, your attention, your openness to these messages. I hope that you have a wonderful week. And... I would love to hear your input or your thoughts, how this resonated for you. Leave me a comment. Send me an email. My information is then in the description box below. If you would like a personal reading, that information is also located in the description box. Otherwise, wishing you a wonderful day, and I will be back soon.